this is not clickbait. You read that title right. Guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome to my channel. Uh, yeah, so I got the tea for you guys. Like, the story is juicy. Like, I have no words for it. First of all, um, I haven't done a story time in forever, so I thought... Since I like to mix it up on my channel and do a whole bunch of things, I thought, like, man, it's time for a story time. And since I'm an open book and I have no filter and I tell all my business, um, it's fine, whatever, that, uh, yeah, I would tell this story to you guys because what made me, you know, think that I should do this story time is because I see a lot of girls going through the same thing, similar situations, so I'm not going to say no names, um, or I'm not going to say how old I was, because I don't want the person, my ex, to, uh, you know, get heat or asked about, because there's a lot of people that I wasn't really honest with in this relationship, like my friends and stuff, they didn't know what was really going on. Um, this was a while ago, and, uh... You know, we met through a friend. We met at a friend's house, a mutual friend's house. And I've heard of him and I've seen him before, but, you know, I never really talked to him until this night that we were both at this mutual friend's house, right? So I'm like, oh, yeah, he's cute, like, whatever. We started talking and flirting, blah, 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 blah. And one thing led to another. Um, he asked me, he hit me up and asked me to hang out the next day, so we hung out, we got something to eat, we watched a movie, Netflix and chill, nothing happened the first night, nothing happened. Okay, I'm not that type of girl, okay? But anyways, so, we hit it off, like, right away, like, I thought he was so nice, he was so sweet, like, you know, little did I know that it was all a fucking front, like, all of it was fake, right? The honeymoon period only lasted one month. Usually in relationships, it lasts like about five to six months. You know, couples are in love, all sweet. But no, he showed his true ass after a month, okay? And, you know, me being so young and, you know, I... I really didn't... This was one of my first serious relationships and I didn't really, you know... I didn't know how to stick up for myself. I didn't know, you know, I didn't love myself. I didn't, you know, it's just hard to explain. So, first red flag, right? The first time he picked me up from work, right? And um, this is like after a month of us, you know, hanging out and dating. Um, he picked me up from work, right? And I have a cousin who owns a jewelry shop. And this ex, he was very, like, flashy, was really into his own appearance, you know? And, um, so I was saying, like, you know, I saw this really nice chain. I think I'm going to get it for your birthday, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, he really liked that idea. And he was, like, kind of hinting to me that he didn't want to wait until his birthday, that he wanted it right now. And he thinks that since my family owned this jewelry store, that I could just pull strings and just get it like that without paying. It's not how it works. So, um... Out of nowhere, after talking about it for like five minutes, he snaps in the car and he's like, well, I don't want to wait until my fucking birthday. He's like, I want it right now. He's like, by the time it's my birthday, I'm not even going to want it anymore. That was the first time he ever snapped on me. And that's after a month of us talking, right? So, me being the little scared young Danielle that I was, um, I was just like, okay, okay. Like, for a long time, I was like his slave. I was like... You know, he treated me like shit, I believed his lies, whatever, blah, 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 blah. So, red flag number two, um, I went through his Facebook, I'm a little FBI agent. This is why, he is the reason why I am so good at finding shit out, okay? So, um, this was like when I think the iPhone 4 was out, I don't know, or whatever, how that goes. Um, and he had the iPhone, and so whenever he left it, like, left it unattended, like, I would go through that shit real quick, right? So, the first thing I did was click on his Facebook messages, right? And I see this girl, not gonna say her name, obviously, but I see this girl, like, all of her, me like, she's having a conversation with herself, and I'm not dumb, like, I know you're deleting your part. And it's like, do you really think I'm that stupid that I'm gonna think that this girl's just talking to herself in her messages? Obviously, you answered back, like, Okay, so, red flag number three, right? So, again, 
leaving his phone unattended. Um, I remember I just got out of work and we were hanging at his house. He left his phone. I don't know what he did, but he left his phone unattended for like five minutes. So again, go on his Facebook, right? I open his Facebook and it's right on this girl's page, like of her in like a Halloween costume. Like, oh, like, you know, the trying to be sexy, but I'm really bad at it look. Um, and she was not cute at all. Like, I was like, what are you, like, <clears throat> this girl was all over Facebook on the news for having sex with somebody 11 years old. And she was, I was 21 at the time, 20, like, ew, you're fucking gross. Red flag number four. Okay. So, um, now. I knew the people that he worked with really well because I would often stop in there, like, you know, to say hi. He worked at a place, you know, where, you know, customers could just come in, buy stuff, whatever. So I stopped in there pretty frequently, um, you know, to visit him. So I knew everybody he worked with, right? So the one night he falls asleep early. And I go through his phone. I actually checked everything, like Snap, Facebook, Instagram, like every messages, everything you can check, right? I put the phone down because I didn't find anything. And I'm like, wow, maybe he's changing. My dumbass thought. Um, so then I put his phone down and I'm like, wait, I'm thinking there. And I'm like, I've never checked his emails before. So just wait for it, guys, because this is the cherry on top of the fucking cake. This is the... And all be all, but however you say that fucking saying. So I go into his email, right? I go into his trash or like his saved or whatever. And, um, sorry, my nose is so itchy. I go into his saved whatever, that little bit on the side of the emails. And I click on this picture. It's, it's like a, it came up as like a, um, it was like 1205 from another email. And I noticed the name, and I'm like, hmm, isn't that his boss? So, and his boss was a female at the time, um, so I clicked on it. Right in my freaking eyes, huge as hell, her fucking boobs, vagina, everything, completely naked in her bathroom like this. And... I literally wanted to throw up because every time I walked into this, into his work, this bitch always was super friendly to me. And little did I know that they had a thing. Okay. So, red flag number five. So, this was my brother's birthday, right? And I was going to take my brother out for his birthday. We went out to eat and my boyfriend, not my ex that we're talking about, dropped me off and dropped me off at my mom's house. And I took him out to eat, and um, he didn't. My ex didn't come with us, even though I said, you know, you can come with us. Blah blah. I'll pay, whatever. He's like, no, no, no. He's like, I got some running around to do. Well, come to find out, I found out like a month later, while I was out to eat with my family on my brother's birthday, he invited his nasty ex girlfriend, the one that sleeps around with everybody, right? Plus, she cheated on him when they were together. He invited her over, and they hooked up. Guess what? I still didn't leave his ass, um, even though I really, really should months ago. And besides all the cheating, that's not even the worst thing that he's done to me. I also, and I haven't told a lot of people this, but I also developed an eating disorder. I was anorexic because he would compare me to girls saying like, oh, um, you know, if you had a bigger ass and not such a gut, or he would say in front of his friends while playing like, um, video games he would be like uh um like say that girls were hot and saying he's he'd be like man i wish danielle looked like that man if danielle had tits like she would be so hot like and he would say that in front of me and, and i was embarrassed like i would just like leave and cry and be like and i would question myself like why am i not enough um i remember one fourth of july we were at the town park because they set off fireworks every year um, I remember I was sitting there with him and his family at the town park, and he was sitting right next to me, and um, I remember looking up at the fireworks, and I said, God, give me a sign. If I'm supposed to leave him, let the next firework be green. And to my surprise, I'm not even kidding, I swear to God and everything that I love, strike me dead if I'm lying, the next firework was green. And I loved him. And it took everything in me to leave him, but 
listen, here's another thing. You can tell your friends who's going through a bad relationship. You can tell them a million times he's not good for you, blah, 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 blah. But until that they've had enough and that they're sick of it, they're not going to walk away. And it might already be too late. They might have already lost themselves or, you know, but you, you need to get out of there before that happens. And even if it did happen already, you can always pick up the pieces and rebuild yourself. I promise you. If I did it, you guys can do it. So that's all I have for um, this week. Uh, I'm going to be posting more than once a week now. I'm so happy that you guys have been enjoying my videos and all my new subscribers. I love you. You guys are amazing. And you guys are the reason why I do this. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment, tell me what you think. Tell me about your own relationships. Um, tell me what a piece of shit your ex was. I love hearing about it. I love hearing what you guys have to say. And if you haven't subscribed already, you're here already. Just subscribe. And um, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.